Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a rectangle and a semicircle and this distance of six right here. And it wants to know what is the area of the rectangle. This is day 10 of our advent calendar. For the month of December, we're gonna do 31 Katrina ag puzzles in 31 days. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. The puzzle's asking for the area of the rectangle, so let's write out that formula. The area of a rectangle is base times height. So we just gotta figure out what is the base and what is the height. First, let's find the center of the semicircle and draw this radius. That's part of the base. And then we can draw this radius of the semicircle. That'll be the height of our rectangle. And to finish up the base of our rectangle, it's not quite a full radius, so let's just give it a variable x. So now we can express the area of the rectangle. The base is x plus r, and the height is equal to r. And then we can distribute that. x times r is xr, and r times r is r squared. So the area of our rectangle is xr plus r squared. This looks important. Let's put an ellipse around it. And I don't think we need this stuff anymore. And let's move this down here. Next, let's swing this radius down here. Let's label this other unknown distance as y. This y, x, and r make a nice looking right triangle. Let's do Pythagorean theorem. It'll be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And then I see another right triangle. Let's get rid of this radius and focus on this right triangle. And we can do Pythagorean theorem again. It'll be the quantity x plus r squared plus y squared equals six squared. Now let's play around with this a little bit. x plus r squared is the same thing as x plus r times x plus r. And after we multiply this out, we'll have x squared plus 2xr plus r squared. These two things are the same, so let's get rid of this. I'm noticing up here we have an x squared plus y squared, so let's bring this x squared over here. So now these look the same. And let's bring this stuff up here. So we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So in the place of this x squared plus y squared, let's substitute r squared. And then r squared plus r squared is 2r squared. Let's smush all of this stuff together, and they both have a 2 in there. Let's factor out that 2. 2 times what gives us 2xr, that's xr. And 2 times what gives us 2r squared, that'll be r squared. And if you didn't fully follow that, just imagine distributing this 2 to both of these. It'd bring us back up here. So this is the same thing as this. Let's get rid of this and move this up here. Next, on the right-hand side, this 6 squared can be changed into 36. And now both sides of our equation can be divided by 2. On the left-hand side, these 2s will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, 36 divided by 2 is 18. So now we have xr plus r squared is equal to 18. But that's the same thing as our area, xr plus r squared. So in the place of this xr plus r squared, let's substitute in 18. Let's give it a label of units squared, and this is the answer to our question. The area of this rectangle is 18 units squared. How exciting. This was day 10 of our advent calendar, and this will be day 11. It's asking us what's this angle, but it doesn't really seem to provide very much other information. How exciting.